Welcome to A&A Products Tutorials. With this tutorial I want you to learn three things. How to make a basic fused glass pendant, how to place a decal on the pendant, and how to do a simple wire wrap on a pendant. This is a nice project to begin with. So let's get started. We're going to make a simple black and white pendant. Uh, we're going to make the pieces about uh, this size. This is two and a half inches long by one and a quarter inch wide. The black piece, when we make a white piece, one and a quarter inch wide, the same length, we'll actually have a square, two and a half inches square. So let's cut the white piece from here. Now we have two pieces which will fit together. I'm going to put, this is thin glass, and I'm going to put the thin glass onto a thicker glass, three millimeter black glass. I'm going to set them right on top of the black glass and get them evenly on the black glass. And that's how we're going to fire them. And uh, the reason for having the thicker black glass underneath is that it'll get us quarter, uh, closer to a quarter inch thickness and therefore we hope that we won't have too much uh, movement of the glass uh, because it's trying to change dimensions. And so our next step is to put it into a kiln and fire it. We're ready to put it in the kiln. We're going to put a piece of uh, thin fire paper down just about the size of the piece of black glass and uh, look at the glass. If you have one side that's a little smoother than the other Put it up, uh, hopefully that will reduce the uh, number of bubbles. And then on top of the black glass, we're going to put the black and white pieces that we have. Try to center them on there, make sure we don't have any space in between them. And then we'll very carefully set the lid on the kiln. And at this point, we should be ready to fire the kiln. So we'll turn the kiln on. And we'll get back in just a few minutes as the kiln heats up. It's been seven minutes since we turned the kiln on and you can see it's almost up to 1400 degrees. We're going to take it up to uh, about 1800 degrees. Get it good and hot so that it can melt down. And then we'll shut it off. You may wonder why we can go so rapidly to that temperature and back again. And the reason is the piece of glass is fairly small. Also, we're going to cut a pendant out of this glass. And when we fire polish the edges, we'll have a chance to anneal the glass again to make sure that it, it doesn't crack. So we'll take it up to 1800. We'll turn it off. When we come back, it'll be time to cut out our uh, shape of our pendant. Our piece should be done, so we'll take off the lid and see what we have. And there we have a piece that's black and white. And our next job is going to be to take that piece out and cut out the size that we want. And uh, then after that we'll uh, uh, fire polish the edges. So that's our next step, cut it out. We're ready to cut out our shape on our piece now. I've decided to use a shape uh, something like this, an oval. And I'm going to place it onto the glass. Try and center it between the black and the white. And uh, take a pen, this pen's a little old, so it might take a bit to get it working. And just make a, a mark. Uh, as best we can around there and on to the other side the 
advantage of using a, a white pen like this, even though it's old, is that uh, it's more permanent on the glass. Doesn't wash off quite as easy as a Sharpie or black marker will. And leaves us a clear enough space that we can see what we want to cut. So that'll be our next step now is to actually cut the glass. Okay, I'm going to use a Taurus 2 saw to actually do the cutting on the glass. Uh, on a ring saw, uh, before you actually fire it up when it's been sitting for a while, sometimes the glass can uh, uh, jam the blade a little bit. Pull the blade, make sure that the blade is free to move, then turn it on once. Okay, and it looks like we're ready to go. So what we're going to do now is cut the glass. When you're using a, a ring saw of any kind, you want to let the blade do the cutting, not push too hard. That's the easy way to snap the blade. So we'll uh, cut a little more and uh, finish the cut. Okay, we've finished cutting the piece. The next job will be to grind it and uh, get it uh, nice and smooth around the edges. So we'll do that next. Okay, we're ready to grind. I've made sure the grinder has enough water in it. I like to put a little extra onto the sponge which will keep the grinding head uh, nice and wet and that's important that we keep that grinding head wet and we're ready to turn on the grinder and go about this task. We'll get some of the rougher edges off first. Uh, this is a fine grinding head and uh, gives me a nice finish on the outside. doesn't take too long to grind down. We'll do a little bit more and uh, once we have it ground down, then we're ready to fire polish the edges and uh, after that we can uh, finish off the rest of the pavement. So we'll just finish grinding it down a little bit. Uh, We have the pendant from the fire polish, has a nice uh, shine uh, around the sides, and we're ready to put a decal on it. We've cleaned the pendant and make sure the pendant's very clean. Make sure that the decal is going to actually fit the pendant. So we sort of size the decal to make sure that that's going to work. And uh, now I have one decal that's going to be black and one that's going to be white. Uh, so that the black will go on the white side and the white will go on the black side. I'm going to lay them on top of each other so that they look like they fit properly. There's a slight curve to the pendant so I'm going to cut through both of them right in the middle with a slight curve. And then I want the black one for the right side and I want the white one for the black side and the two now fit side by side. So the next step is to take the, put them into the water and get them ready to put onto the surface of the glass. The water is distilled, clean water. There is often a little coating on top of the decals you want to take that off first 
before you put the decal into the water. So we'll drop that decal in. And on the white there's also one. Uh, the white you can't actually see because of the uh, way they're made. But uh, we'll put it into the water also. We want to get some paper towels to sponge this with. Some people will use a, a brush to brush it off. Uh, I prefer not to. I prefer to use paper towel uh, where I can put straight down rather than pulling against the decal. Should take about 30 minutes or 30 seconds, I should say, in the water for the decal to come loose. And once it comes loose, then our task will be to put it onto the uh, onto the glass. So we'll get a little closer up of what we're doing here and uh, check the decal out and see whether it's sliding yet or not. Alright, it's beginning to slide. So I want you to see that what I've done is I uh, have uh, slid the decal off the edge of the paper. I'm going to lay it that onto the glass right along that edge, hold it with my finger while I pull the decal off and place it exactly along the straight edge of that glass. There we can see the black part of the decal on there. Sponge it a little bit. And now move it into final place here. And take the white decal. Slide it off. Put it next to the black decal. Slide them off. Make sure they are both together the way we want them to look. And then just carefully pat. Try not to move them to get the water off. Final adjustment. And pat again. You have to be very careful you don't move the decal. Now decals must be very dry, totally dry before you fire them. So I actually leave the decal overnight to be dry. Do a final check. It looks like that's the way I would want the decal. So I will hold it so that you can see what we're going to have. What we're going to have is a white tree on the black side and a black tree on the white side, both mirroring each other. Okay, and that should take care of the decal work. We'll let it dry overnight and then we'll fire it.